Meanwhile, candles burned bright for the three women who lost their lives in a crash five days ago. Dozens gathered in Bethel Park to say their final goodbyes. Lynn Hayes Freeland was there, and she's live tonight with more. Lynn. Paul, all three of those women have now been laid to rest. There were two funerals held yesterday. The last was held today. But there's still a lot of healing that needs to happen in this Bethel Park community, which is why family and friends came out to South Park for a candlelight vigil tonight. The gazebo in South Park was the gathering place for the friends of three girls killed in a car crash. Paige Nicole Smith, Bianca Herwig, and Heather Camisa. A fourth girl who was injured in the crash, Brooke Molnar, now out of the hospital, came to the vigil to remember her friends. The accident happened around 1.30 Tuesday morning on Library Road in Bethel Park. Snapchat video showed the group partying earlier in the evening on the south side and inside the SUV Mitsubishi driven by Smith. At the Sunday night gathering, friends were reminded to learn from their experiences so they don't hurt their parents. A speaker in the crowd said we lost somebody who can't give back to the community. The speaker urged those in attendance to take this message to heart and to please, please be smart. The crowd of approximately 100 people hugged each other, cried, shared stories by candlelight before releasing white balloons into the night sky as a three girls who lost their lives far too soon. Now, at the time of the crash, a local police chief said that this could be a teachable moment to teach our young people about the dangers of alcohol and driving. That's also a message that came through live vigil tonight. Reporting live in Bethel Park, I'm Lynn Hayes Freeland, KDKA TV News.